<laughs> All right, our next speaker here is uh, Todd McGreevy. He's the uh, Iowa coordinator for We the People Foundation. Thanks for coming out on this rainy day, everybody. Thank you. A um, couple quick things. What Drew was talking about is HR 1207. And we're happy to announce that in Iowa, all of our legislatures on both sides of the aisle have supported H.R. 1207. So we need to applaud them and thank them for supporting the audit on both sides of the fence. And what we also need to do is ensure that they hold steadfast in their support of H.R. 1207 when it comes up for a vote. Because it's one thing to sign on as a sponsor, it's another thing when it comes up for a vote. So do not let up on your phone calls to your legislators here in Iowa and in Illinois. Congressman Hare has also signed on to H.R. 1207. So now it's, it uh, needs to open up one in the Senate, and when that bill is uh, started, we need to hammer on our senators to support the audit. President Obama has proposed an increase in the power and the scope of authority of the Federal Reserve with even broader regulatory reforms. It's been in the headlines for the last few weeks. It's the quintessential turn it on its ear move. Here comes an audit. Uh-oh, we might actually have some accountability. Let's give them more power. And we need to make sure our legislators do not fall for that. I want to get that plug in so everybody understands what's at stake. A lot of times people say, what can we do? And I agree with you. All three branches of our government have failed us. We've seen it many, many times. The electoral process has failed us. We've all called our Congress people last fall and asked them to not support the TARP bailout bill. On both sides of the fence, we've all called them. And it was 100 to 1, 50 to 1, 200 to 1 against. And they still voted for it. That is your electoral process failing you. Every year we have a new, every, every presidential cycle, we have a new president every eight years now, practically. And every time they increase the power, the unlawful powers of the executive branch. With everything from the Military Commissions Act to the U.S. Patriot Act to executive orders. And this year Obama stood in front of the Constitution two weeks ago out loud and said we need a new legal regime so we can enforce indefinite detention for crimes you might commit in the future. That is the executive branch failing you. The judicial branch has failed us miserably. We the People Foundation for 15 years has filed for petitions of redress and grievance, exercising their First Amendment right and authority to have redress and grievance with the federal government when they are out of line. That is what has... And the, and the, and the Supreme Court has refused to adjudicate on the accountability clause. That is why Bob Schultz from We the People Foundation did a 86 city, 50 state tour this spring, starting in January. He went throughout the United States and established state coordinators in all 50 states. November 9th through November 24th, 2009, at a location to be announced. It's looking strong that it might be in Illinois, actually. There will be a two week Continental Congress. And this is a chance for We the People to put the chains back on the government where they belong. What's going to happen is, October 10th, there's going to be an election nationwide, an actual constitutional election where ballots are public, ballots are in your, out, tangible, held, held in your hand and counted in front of everyone, October 10th. The flyer I handed out has GiveMeLiberty.org on it. Go to that website, please, and learn more about this. There are going to be delegates, nominees for delegates from each state, which need your support. And you're welcome to become a nominee yourself. There's going to be three delegates from each state convening for two weeks. For the first week, you're going to see essentially, for lack of a better term, our federal government put on trial. The evidence of all of their transgressions and all of their violations will be made more than publicly clear. Mr. Schultz has filed these petitions for 15 years, very formally, very legally, and they refuse to be met with. They will be broadcast on C-SPAN. They're going to be broadcast throughout the world, much like... When the Declaration was signed in 1774, the world was waiting to hear what happened. The world will be waiting to hear this in November. After that testimony and bear witness has happened, they're gonna, you're going to have some of the smartest people in America in the room for two weeks. And we're going to come up with the strategies that we can legally and peacefully restore our republic. So I encourage you to go to GiveMeLiberty.org and spread the word about Continental Congress 2009. Decidedly not a constitutional convention. Two different things. Thank you very much. Yeah. <laughs> All right, as far as I know, I don't have any other uh, organizers, unless I missed somebody who...
uh, didn't see earlier. Oh, okay. George? Okay, I'm going to hand this over to George and let him speak for a moment. Well, I concur with everything that I just heard. Uh, one of the things that people have been wanting to know is what can we do? And I think what's missing in our country is a clear understanding of how our country was meant to work and uh, how it began to go wrong. So I will remind you, if you don't already know, there's a website called wallbuilders.com. You can find programs on DVD like uh, Keys to Good Government. David Barton is the uh, gentleman that runs this organization. Uh, Keys to Good Government will give your children and yourselves an understanding of who our fathers were, where they got the uh, their understanding, their, uh, who their who their mentors uh, were. So, which led to our having such a great country up until this last century. So if we all understood what's in the Constitution, we understood what our legacy is, we'd be more inclined to be out there voting, finding people that will represent us properly, and among our kids, or among ourselves, will become those who can be elected, can be trusted to do the right thing, and to bring this government back into check. Thank you. All right, was there any other organizers that I didn't recognize? You know about? Well, there's, 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 uh... The question was, is there going to be a march in the fall? And if you go to a website called resistnet.com, resistnet.com, which is actually organized by Iowans, frankly, um, it, there is a nationwide march that they're organizing on September 12th in D.C. All right. Last but not least, I wanted to introduce this flag. You've probably seen it waving around here. Uh, this was created by a gentleman who organized, uh, well, his website is usrevolution2.com. He uh, basically, at cost, worked on getting these flags out to every tea party across the nation. So we have these supposedly waving in uh, all 50 states right now on, t uh, on 4th of July today. The significance of this flag is... Um, a lot of us were looking for a symbol to use to 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 uh, to, to have something to recognize a, a new revolution in this country, uh, a revolution to uh, revive our republic uh, and to, to to revive our American political philosophy that's espoused in our Declaration of Independence. So the two here is representing one of two things. One is some people recognize it as the Second Revolution and others recognize it as the Second Amendment, which is your right to bear arms, to defend yourself and your country. So uh, if you want to get your own flag and hang it in front of your home, that would be great. It would make a, it definitely would make a statement that uh, you have your own symbol. You can go, like I said, to uh, US Revolution 2, the number 2.com. If you have any questions, feel free to either contact me or uh, go to our website, superliberty.com, and email me, and uh, I can get you directed to the right website as well. All right, well, thank you, and uh, I guess we can, I don't know what time it is, but uh, we will uh, just carry on, and uh, hopefully we can see a few more people show up here. And hopefully the rain stays off a little more. Thank you.